Welcome back to my channel, Electric like Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this pull chain light switch. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign and subscribe to my channel, Electric like Mechanic, for more DIY and tinkering videos. If the chain on your light fixture of your fan is stuck like the one on my fan is, chances are you need a new pull chain switch. But don't worry, this is an easy and inexpensive repair to make. By the time you finish this video, you'll have a smoothly operating pull switch, just like the one I have on the right that controls the fan. Safety first, that's why I've placed a piece of duct tape over the switch so nobody can turn it on. You can also turn off the breaker. Then go ahead and remove the glass bowl. After removing the bowl, I also recommend removing the light. Um, I just left it in there because I forgot to do it. But uh, you should be able to see two wires hooked up to the switch. One is the power coming in from the top and the second is the power going to the bulb. Go ahead and uh, cut both wires as close to the switch as possible. That way you have more than enough wires um, when you're installing the new switch. You can always cut the excess off later. If you're wondering why the wires were bare prior to me cutting them just now, that's because I had already cut them before turning the camera on. But for the sake of being thorough, I just decided to demo the, pr the process again. With the wires cut, all you have to do is unscrew the brass nut and the switch should wiggle right out. While removing the switch, I noticed that the wires on the porcelain light fixture socket had frayed insulation on them, both on the line and the neutral wires, so I decided to replace that while I was up there anyways. To remove the socket, all you have to do is undo the light bulb and you'll see a hidden screw. This screw is what holds the socket to the bracket. Then go ahead and remove the screw to release the socket. Now you can really see how jacked up the wires were on the light fixture socket. Next, open up the wire housing canopy by undoing all the screws. After that, push the neutral wire from the bottom to see where it connects in the wire housing. Once you find it, go ahead and undo the wire nut and the socket should come right out. All right, now that we've removed the light switch and the light socket, let's take a look at some of the replacement parts. Um, I went to the Home Depot and I was able to get a nearly identical switch for about three bucks. I was also able to find a porcelain ceiling fan light socket designed for ceiling fans, also for about three bucks. And uh, to make all the connections, I got these blue wire nuts. Um, these wire nuts, since we're dealing with 18 gauge wire, these small wire nuts will make sure we have a secure connection. So it's always important to read the specs on the wire nuts before you buy them or use them. To save myself a step, I removed the screw and bracket from the new light socket. And uh, we'll just be using the bracket from the old socket, which is already installed. 
First, I inserted the wires of the porcelain light fixture through the bracket and into the wiring housing. Then I did the same for both of the wires of the switch. It is a bit of a squeeze to get all the wires through the bracket, but just be patient and uh, do one wire at a time and uh, it'll be okay. At the end, there should be four wires in the housing, a white wire and a black wire from the light socket and two black wires from the switch. And there you have it, all four wires present in the wire housing. I started the wiring by connecting the white wire from the socket to the neutral wire I had just undid when removing the socket. I cut away any excess wire as this will make closing the wire housing easier. Next, I grabbed one of the wires from the switch and connected it to the black wire coming from the light socket using a wire connector. Again, I cut off any excess wire. It does not matter which one of the two wires coming from the switch you use because polarity does not matter. Then I undid the pigtail that was coming from the power in wire aka the black wire coming from the canopy of the, of the fan and going to the old switch and connected the remaining black wire from the new switch to it. To recap the connections, we have the black wires with the silver nut representing the power going to the switch, and we have the black wires with the blue wire nut representing the connection to the light socket, and the white wires with the silver wire nut representing the neutral connections. For some extra protection and a peace of mind, I added electrical tape around each wire connection. After that, I carefully placed the, all the wiring into the housing and uh, installed it back onto the fan. Then I positioned the threaded portion of the switch through the pre-existing hole and tightened it using the brass nut. I also screwed the light socket fixture to the bracket using the screw. Then I popped the light bulb back in and the wool cover on top of that and I was all done. Okay. Looks like I must have turned the fan on. And there's the light. Mission accomplished.